do be tough. Then you should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline. I may be very small. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline. And inside, I'm tall. She may be teeny tiny, diminutive petite. But that has never stopped her from being pretty neat. Spazzy's playing a game from her childhood! And this was a pain to get set up to record. Bonjour! Bonjour! Hello, travelers! Fill in your name on the passport, and we will go on a great adventure! Yay! S, P, A, Z, Z, C, A, K, E, S, there's only one little itty bitty issue with this setup. See that? That is the mouse. It's supposed to be prettier, but it's not. But anyway, and this is a point and click adventure, so you're going to be seeing a lot of it. Let's go. Let's start a new game. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine, in two straight lines, in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. They gathered today at the Paris train station to wish Madeline goodbye on her summer vacation. Madeline and her dog were about to embark to the camp young girls run by Madame Boulac. Madeline feared she might be late, so she ran ahead to the station gate. Au revoir, everybody! Au revoir, Suddenly, under the steps nearby, a sight quite amazing did Madeline spy. It was a very old lamp, but she touched very lightly. But it started to glow, and it glowed very brightly. A genie flew out and gave them a scare. Brave Madeline was not afraid, and a new friend she quickly made. But both the genie and Madeline got a dreadful surprise when the lamp was stolen right in front of their eyes. The thief ran for the train, leaving Madeline to stare as something fell from his pocket and flew into the air. Madeline grabbed for the paper with one quick snap and discovered the thief had dropped a map. Genevieve came over to sniff the clue. And the frail old map into pieces of food. At that very moment, Madeline knew she could no longer go to camp. She must save that genie and the magic lamp. That's gotta suck. I mean, seriously. Anyway, I'm playing Madeline European Adventures. There goes my train to Madame Bullock's camp for girls. Au revoir. Goodbye. Perhaps I will go to camp next year. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Pardon moi. Pardon me, Monsieur Carnot. I need to follow the thief that got on that train. Do you know where he was headed? Oh, it has been a very busy day, Madeline. Trains coming and going and going and coming. I am sorry, but I forget. When I find the rest of the map pieces, I will know where the thief is going. Then I can buy my ticket. Yay! For that, you'll need a passport and some money. When you have everything you need, Madeline, come back and I will sell you a ticket. Merci, Monsieur Carnot. I'll be back. You can count on it. Oh, I miss this game so much. I miss its horrible graphics. Let's click the thing that's flying. Click, click. Yay! 
pretty music. Madeline must find all five pieces of the map. Don't worry, the game isn't completely all this this the entire game isn't this talky based. Let's talk to this guy. Bonjour, Madeline. How does everybody know my name? Bonjour, Fabrice. Hello. How do you know everybody's you name? Picture, please? I'd be happy to if you'll do me a favor in return. I have six photographs that have gotten out of order. They're supposed to tell a story, but they're all mixed up. Oh Can no! You help me? Of course. May I see them? No, you need to do, you need to do it blind. Now, what order should these pictures go in? Uh. I guess they need to be numbered from one to six. I don't know. First of all, why do you have pictures of me and some random person? Um, I don't know how to make things. Uh, first that, then this, then this, I think, then this, then it's done, then you eat it, I think. Madeline has placed the photos just so. She is quite amazing, as you already know. Hey, I did all the hard work. I have put them in order, Fabrice. So confident how do you know his name? Great! Now I will take your picture. Suri, smile. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's a horrible picture. Thank you, Madeline. <laughs> now I can get my passport. Now that Madeline's photo is a work of art, she can get her passport and depart. How do I get a passport? Can I get a passport from you? No, you to do that, you'll need a passport and some money. When you have everything you need, Madeline, come back and I will sell you a ticket. How do I get a passport? Carnot, I'll be back. You can count on it. Stop talking. How do you get a passport? I forget. Is it over here? Ooh, ice cream. In Paris, the spring air is filled with perfume. Large hey. bunches of flowers are does this person stop talking? Ooh. What? Paper. Okay. Thing. Kitty! Kitties! Yeah, they're so cute! And they're pink and yellow and green and blue and I don't really care. They're adorable! Oh, that pink one's definitely me. Pink one, it never got out. Oh, hello, sad emo grandma. Good morning, Madeline. Good morning, Genevieve. Madame Le Fleur, what is the matter? Ah, uh, her name's Madame Flower. I have nearly run out of flowers to sell. I need five more bouquets. Whatever shall I do? I cannot leave my shop to go pick more. Please do not be sad. I can pick them for you. Yeah, that doggy therapy. Grand, Madeline. Why, I will even pay you in francs. Merci, madame. Thank you. Um, there's some flowers. Um. Yay for convenient flying flowers. I guess. Okay. That's not drugs at all. 